The way of heaven can be known and experienced through the heart. There is no place for little minds in a great work. Man's status in the natural world is determined, therefore, by the quality of his thinking. An unhealthy mind, even in a healthy body, will ultimately destroy health. Man's security comes from within himself. Moderation is the secret of survival. We are the gods of the atoms that make up ourselves but we are also the atoms of the gods that make up the universe. Symbolism is the language of the mysteries. By symbols men have ever sought to communicate to each other those thoughts which transcend the limitations of language. Each person must discover his own philosophy of life, and it is not fair or right to impose our codes upon others. It is also our responsibility, however, to share, one with another, such experiences as may have common value. There are two great systems in the body of man, the tree of life, which is the arterial with its roots in the heart, and, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, i.e. the nervous system, which has its roots in the brain. These two trees are physical manifestations of a complicated network of branching energy currents in the aura or superphysical bodies. To live in the world without becoming aware of the meaning of the world is like wandering about in a great library without touching the books. It has always seemed to me that symbolism should be restored to the structure of world education. The young are no longer invited to seek the hidden truths, dynamic and eternal, locked within the shapes and behavior of living beings. There are many levels of life which we cannot see and know, yet which certainly exist. There is a larger world, vast enough to include immortality. Our spiritual natures belong to this larger world. If death is apparently an outward fact, immortality is an inner certainty. Ignorance of ignorance, then, is that self-satisfied state of unawareness in which man, knowing nothing outside the limited area of his physical senses, bumptiously declares there is nothing more to know. Wisdom is a condition of consciousness rather than an attitude of mind. Wisdom is that state of being in which an individual finds himself when realization has tinctured and transmuted all attitudes and opinions. A wise man is one who has experienced wisdom, wisdom in this sense being a mystical experience. What nobler relationship than that of friend? What nobler compliment can man bestow than friendship? The bonds and ties of the life we know break easily, but through eternity one bond remains, the bond of fellowship, the fellowship of atoms, of stardust in its endless flight, of suns and worlds, of gods and men. The clasped hands of comradeship unite in a bond eternal, the fellowship of spirit. Symbols are oracular forms mysterious patterns creating vortices in the substances of the invisible world. Chem was an ancient name for the land of Egypt, and both the words alchemy and chemistry are a perpetual reminder of the priority of Egypt's scientific knowledge. The end of science is not to prove a theory, but to improve mankind. Suicide thwarts the plan of the entity which sends out the personality. Fortunately, the entity is far beyond the reach of man's destructive tendencies. If the infinite had not desired man to be wise, 
he would not have bestowed upon him the faculty of knowing. The headdresses of the Egyptians have great symbolic and emblematic importance, for they represent the auric bodies of the superhuman intelligences, and are used in the same way that the nimbus, halo, and aureole are used in Christian religious art. Experiences are the chemicals of life with which the philosopher experiments in ancient times men fought with their right arms and defended with their left arms, the right side of the body was considered masculine and the left side feminine. The adoration of the sun was one of the earliest and most natural forms of religious expression. Complex modern theologies are merely involvements and amplifications of this simple aboriginal belief. It must be shown that self-seeking is out of fashion, and that the world is moving on to a larger conception of living. Secret societies have existed among all peoples, savage and civilized, since the beginning of recorded history. It is beyond question that the secret societies of all ages have exercised a considerable degree of political influence. Words are potent weapons for all causes, good or bad. Before our globe had become egg-shaped or round it was a long trail of cosmic dust or fire mist, moving and writhing like a serpent. This say the explanations, was the spirit of God moving on the chaos until its breath had incubated cosmic matter and made it assume the annular shape of a serpent with its tail in its month emblem of eternity in its spiritual and of our world in its physical sense. It is only a step from boredom to disillusionment, which leads naturally to self-pity, which in turn ends in chaos. It is the exact experience of mathematics. Not merely the adding up of your grocery bill, or the daily uses that we make of number. But the great concept of a universal exactitude, that numbers are an instrument of magic. And by means of them, men can unlock all the wonders of the world. The end of science is not to prove a theory, but to improve mankind. Suicide thwarts the plan of the entity which sends out the personality. Fortunately, the entity is far beyond the reach of man's destructive tendencies. If the infinite had not desired man to be wise, he would not have bestowed upon him the faculty of knowing. The headdresses of the Egyptians have great symbolic and emblematic importance, for they represent the auric bodies of the superhuman intelligences, and are used in the same way that the nimbus, halo, and aureole are used in Christian religious art. Experiences are the chemicals of life with which the philosopher experiments in ancient times men fought with their right arms and defended with their left arms, the right side of the body was considered masculine and the left side feminine. The adoration of the sun was one of the earliest and most natural forms of religious expression. Complex modern theologies are merely involvements and amplifications of this simple aboriginal belief. It must be shown that self-seeking is out of fashion, and that the world is moving on to a larger conception of living. Secret societies have existed among all peoples, savage and civilized, since the beginning of recorded history. It is beyond question that the secret societies of all ages have exercised a considerable degree of political influence. Words are potent weapons for all causes, good or bad. Before our globe had become egg-shaped or round it was a long trail of cosmic dust or fire mist, moving and writhing like a serpent. 
This, say the explanations, was the spirit of God moving on the chaos until its breath had incubated cosmic matter and made it assume the annular shape of a serpent with its tail in its month emblem of eternity in its spiritual and of our world in its physical sense. It is only a step from boredom to disillusionment, which leads naturally to self-pity, which in turn ends in chaos. It is the exact experience of mathematics. Not merely the adding up of your grocery bill, or the daily uses that we make of number. But the great concept of a universal exactitude, that numbers are an instrument of magic. And by means of them, men can unlock all the wonders of the world.